Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is late night. We are going to be uh, getting rewards here very soon. I'm doing some uh, my Thursday flips, looking around the market, trying to look at these things. Kind of what's low, you can see I have 63,000 coins, so there's not a lot of coinage left. Looking around at some of the bids, I got some sterlings out of packs. Uh, I think it could do pretty well tomorrow with the Wambasaka Lynx. I got a really nice bid on a Saul inform right there. Uh, but that's not the point of the video that I want to speak on tonight. I want to speak about like last minute messy player of the month SBC thoughts. What I think could happen because of that SBC tomorrow. We'll kind of look at like two different scenarios I think are kind of like the most possible things that could happen tomorrow. And what also is going to happen with the market in terms of uh, going up in this next you know 24 to 48 hours as we do head into foot miss, which I think a lot of people are not really remembering or thinking about because all the hype is on this SBC right here, the Lionel Messi player of the month SBC. How much is gold Messi right now? Gold Messi is one, two, wow, he's like one, two, five. One, two, four, yeah, that's a low man, one, two, four, oh. So people are ready for this SBC to come. Um, and I think that there's like, there's really two different scenarios that we could see with this SBC tomorrow. Uh, scenario A is I think the most popular one. The SBC comes out at around two, just a little over 2 million coins with high rated cards being a little bit inflated already. And then the SBC actually maybe pushes its way up to like 2, 3, 2, 4 with the informs that they require. Because I think if the SBC matches the price of this UCL card, uh, the group stage card, I think people are going to go out and do it, right? 2.1 mil for this Messi right here. It's down a ton, right? I know some people are just buying this card outright because they don't think the, the Messi SBC is going to be this expensive. Um, I'm really curious to see what they do value the Messi at. It, they said it's going to be 96, so it should be comparable to this card price. And this card is going to be like the gauge, right? So if the Messi SBC comes out around 2 million, which is very close to this card, and you get some packs back, I think people would start to chip away at that, but not everybody, right? Um, and that's where I think that that's going to push a lot of the other market up. And you, you saw me investing in a lot of stuff today um, for Thursday flips, because I think the lower tier end of the market is going to be relatively unaffected by the SBC. Now, this is the stuff that I bought tonight with the Sterlings, a Saul, um, a Theo Hernandez, a Semedo, a Fabinho, a, some Deluxe. You know, I, I, I don't have a ton of coins liquid because I've got, I have these, I have a couple of these uh, group stage cards that I just need to take some losses on and then maybe reinvest those coins. But um, the low tier market, like we're talking under 150,000 coins, I don't feel like it's going to be super affected by the messy SBC because anybody who's buying a lot of these players probably isn't looking to go and do that SBC um, just because of, you know, how many coins that they have in their clubs. But you guys are wondering about the Messi SBC, and I, I want to kind of talk about, again, that other scenario as well. So we talked about scenario number one, right, where the, the SBC comes out and it's just on the edge too expensive or it's way too expensive. Like, this scenario one is it's pretty much expensive. A few people are doing it or it's too expensive and not really anybody's going to do it. I think in that scenario, the market flies. You're going to see things literally across the entire market, team of the weeks, icons, like some icons, man. I, I used uh, Middle Blanc as a, an example earlier in a video this week because this is the, one of the most popular icons in the game at a center back position. This guy was like 1.1 mil. Uh, he's up. He's actually back up a little bit. He's like 1.2, 1.146. 1 he is pretty low. He's still in the 1.1s. 1.1 mil for this card is insane. He was like 1.3, almost 1.4 before this. Um, you know, other guys that have dropped a ton. I think Carlos Alberto is like one of the prime examples. This guy right here was, I saw him at 9.50. Yo, he's even lower than that now. 9.39 for this card. Unbelievable. 9.40 for this card who was almost 1.1 mil uh, like last weekend. So a lot of this stuff is low and I think it has definitely some room to recover because everybody who sold these cards to get ready for Messi, they're going to be buying some of them back, right? It's That's just the way that it works. Some people will see the SBC. Um, you know, some people have the coins to do all this stuff, right? And they see the, the prices have gone down this week. Um, and they might have 10 million coins. So they can do the messy SBC three times if they wanted to with their coin amount. But they sold their players just because they were scared it was going to go down further because of this SBC. And now they're going to see the SBC come out. They might go and do it. And they're going to buy their players back for their qualifiers this weekend or for, you know, with their coins to build their big team that they want to have. And then you're going to see those prices go back up this weekend. That's how I think it's going to go. I really do think we're going to have a rebound after the messy SBC comes out. Uh, and if some people have asked me about the sell time for some of like the Thursday flip investments and stuff like that. 
I'm going to be selling this stuff after 6 p.m. UK. I know it's a little bit more of a risk, right? Um, this stuff might not be affected as much by the messy SBC, but just in a market trend of buying, if the the SBC is too expensive, it's just going to push more people out to buy um, and possibly more people to go and buy some of these cards. So I'm going to be selling a lot of this stuff after 6 p.m. UK, I think. Um, like my out of packs informs that I'm trying to get on bid, you know, some of the snipes and stuff like that undercuts as people sell their, um, sell some of their teams right before rewards, which is a popular thing that people do in this game. Other scenario that I could see happening today, uh, is the messy SBC being affordable. When I mean affordable, I'm talking 1.5 million coins, which I think would be, uh, crazy for them to release an SBC like that. They just crashed the market by just talking about the messy SBC. So if you think maybe EA this week has been pondering, what do we want to do at the market? Do they really want it to go lower? Uh, and do they want all, do they want everybody in the game to sink coins into Messi's SBC right now in this game when he might have an SBC again in a month because he's doing pretty well for December so far. Um, he could have another play of the month SBC in a month's time from now. And we have a footmas promo that EA is probably going to want people to have coins for, uh, to do those players. Cause they're going to be, if the footmas is the same as it has been in years past, There'll be SBCs every day. Last year, we had three different player SBCs every day. That could be something that we see um, this year as well. I mean, that's what Footmas always is, getting the Footmas cards and SBCs. So unless they change that, do they really want to crash the market even more and make people lose more coins? And then they want to suck those coins from doing SBCs? I mean, yes, EA wants people to lose coins in this game because that means that they have to go open FIFA points to get um, coins back by opening packs, and that's how they make money. But... Um, I don't really know if they want to crash this market more than they already have. In years past, we've had Black Friday, we've had Team of the Group stage, which was never really a, a market crash. It actually pushed the market up even more with those cards and packs. And then Footmas, we saw a downfall because people sold cards to go and do SBCs. But this year, we have a huge crash because of this messy SBC before Footmas. So uh, that's why I think I don't think EA will make the SBC cheap. And if they do, then they definitely have something up their sleeve and we're going to have to pay attention to that. But if you do see this messy SBC doing being too cheap, it's not going to stay cheap for long because people are going to catch on. Um, and when I mean cheap, I'm talking again like 1.5 to 1.7 mil. You're going to see these high-rated cards fly if the SBC is that cheap. Um, you know, the 80, a lot of the high-rated fodder is not really up right now. If we go take a look at it on Footbin, um, a lot of this stuff is really not that high. You know, 86 is at 14, 15k. That's kind of where people have been buying them. These were up at 16 or 17 on Monday. These 85s were at 10k on Monday. They're now eight, seven to eight. 87s are at 21, 22. Some of these guys were at like 24, 25. You know, um, Busquets is still holding pretty high at 45 just because he's Barcelona, but uh, De Gea was like 41 or 42k on Monday. So a lot of people have invested in these, and a lot of people are planning to hold these. Um, and I, I don't know, man, I really think this SPC is just going to kind of be in the middle. It's just kind of be like, eh, like that 2 million to 2.2 million coin value. And then I, I still see the market going up after that, because I just don't think there's people that are, that are trying to piece together this SPC. And again, you have to think about it this way too. The SPC should be out for 30 days. Uh, so it's going to be kind of like an icon SPC or like have the same effect as this the I, base icon SBC that we've had come out into packs or come into the SBC store section recently as well because I think you're going to have people that will um, chip away at this SBC for the next month and that's something that it'll take them a month to grind to this card and they're fine with it they're totally fine with it and that's something that we're going to have to kind of live with and deal with for the next month uh, as well so but for tomorrow, I do think that for the high rateds, you're going to see a lot of people trying to sell those. I don't think the high rateds will go super high, but I think the messy SBC and the base icon SBC will kind of keep those cards at like a middle ground. I know I told you a lot of you guys about selling it at the hype for your for these gold cards. They really have not risen up in the hype anymore because EA put out some huge SBCs on Wednesday with a lot of pack supply. So they're kind of forcing us as the traders, I guess, if you think about it, about it this way, they're forcing us to kind of hold our investments. We couldn't really sell into the hype like we could have on Monday. A lot of you guys could have made some decent coins on Monday and I pondered actually selling then because some of those prices were getting really high. But we can't really sell now because some of the prices that we bought at, they're still kind of there. So they're not, we're not really making any profit. So it's kind of hard to sell, you know, uh, if you really want to take the safe route, you still have a couple of hours. You might be able to sell before the SBC comes out. 
um, or for that matter. But um, yeah, they really they really did supply. And I had that hunch earlier this week. I had the hunch that they were going to supply these uh, Team of the Group Stage cards more and just supply the high-rated golds more to, to try to keep them from rising up into the SBC and allowing traders in this game to make easy coins by just uh, s selling into the hype. So we'll see what happens. But the, also the fact that they're, that they're putting out all those supply SBCs on Wednesday and keeping the market kind of low also makes me think that they might make the SBC really expensive so that they want people to invest in those. And then the SBC is expensive. Nobody does it. Everybody sells their high rated gold. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not sure how EA is exactly thinking of it and how they have it planned, but they have a plan and we're going to find it out tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK. So again, two kind of options. The messy SBC is really cheap and everybody goes and does it. And that's going to cause a lot of panic on the market in other areas, especially on the high tier stuff. Um, but I'll cross the market if that SBC is at or below 1.5 mil. It won't be there for long. I'll say that. But it also would, you know, people would quickly sell cards to go get coins if they were in the position where I wasn't going to do it if it was 1.5. But now that it is, I mean, I can sell my team and go do it. They would probably go and do that SBC then. Uh, but if the SBC is above 2 million coins, I do think the market will kind of actually just shoot up because it'll be like, uh, everybody is just released from the player of the month messy uh, scare tactics or you know that SBC is actually finally going to be out and then they can they can go buy their teams again because they know what's going to happen basically it feels like everybody's just waiting right now for that messy SBC so when that comes out I do think that will open up the market and people will feel free again to go buy teams to go buy cards and get ready for the weekend league that's kind of my opinions on it, I want to also talk about uh, Premier League Player of the Month. I'm going to have another video uh, today coming up about that. It's going to be a double upload kind of day. They're probably not going to be too far spread apart because I want you guys to get in that mindset as well because Premier League Player of the Month uh, could be a big one. And if we see some panic selling on some of the high-rated golds today because of Messi, then that could be a huge investment point uh, for Friday, which would be foot miss as well as uh, the... Premier League Play of the Month should be coming out on that day. So we'll take that Molar for 12,000. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Throw that up on the transfer list, GG. Uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to kind of talk about with you guys today. That's how I see things moving. We kind of have like two options. And I think the option two is really uh, the way it's going to go. Going to trickle up in price, move the whole market with it. And then, you know, Friday we should start with Footmas. We could get a loading screen on Thursday as well. So we'll see how that affects things. Tomorrow is one of the, just like, Thursday, today actually, huge, huge day on the market just for so many reasons on this game. So that's kind of my last minute thoughts on the Messi SBC. Um, just be a good, uh, you know what, boys, when the SBC comes out, this is what I want you to do. I want you to be very vigilant and I want you to look at that SBC and I want you to not get caught up in a rush and try to start valuing things. I want you to first look at how many squads it is. I want you to look at the pack value back. I want to then I want you to look at the ratings of the SBCs because th that's what it if you see 10 squads then right away then you should probably just exit and you know it's going to be way too expensive right but if it's only four squads then you're going to want to look at the packs and then you go look at the requirements okay because the packs are you know that's very important as well because if you see 50k pack 50k pack 100k pack then you know people are going to be doing that SBC even if it is even closer to 2 mil that would convince a lot more people to do the SBC. But if you see like 25K pack, 35K pack, uh, jumbo rare gold pack, or that's that's a uh, that's not that's not a 100K pack. A jumbo rare players pack is 100K. So if you see like a rare gold pack, another 25K pack, then you kind of know like, all right, it is what it is. Then you go look at the requirements and see what it is. And of course, check the card rating as well, because you know what, EA, could, they could mess it up tomorrow. They could put a 97 player of the month Messi out, even though they tweeted 96. They could make it a 97 because that was before his team, the group stage. That would also make some more demand on the market for his card if he was an actually 97 and it was his best version of any card in the game. So those are kind of my last minute thoughts for today on Thursday. Should be a fun day, boys. All right. But above all else, have fun. If you lose coins tomorrow, it is what it is. We're going to have fun together, right? And we're going to make those coins back in due time. A lot of people lost coins earlier this week with just the beginning of this market crash and the messy SBC pronouncement and stuff like that. Um, but just stay true, man, all right? Just stay true. Have your coins. If you have to lose some, it's okay. We'll make them back. 
Uh, Footmiss is going to be a great time to trade. There's going to be a lot of SBCs coming out, a lot of link investments, a lot of panic selling, a lot of substitute stuff to be looking at as well. So good luck with your weekend league rewards. Good luck on your Thursday flips and good luck with your messy SBC, whether you're trying to do it, whether you're on the fence about doing it and uh, whether you're not doing it at all. All right. We're going to find out all our questions are going to be answered tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK with the content that they drop. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.